Hello everyone, Bill here. You know, today, one of my business partners came by and said that he was going to be getting having a getaway weekend uh, with his partner. And they were heading up to Minneapolis, Minnesota and asked me what is there to do in Minneapolis. Now this video is not about things to do in Minneapolis. It's an unsolicited plug for a fantastic website called Atlas Obscura. A-T-L-A-S-O-B, but Obscura, O-B-S-C-U-R-A. Now, I use this site no matter where I'm going, whether it's staycations, whether it's uh, driving from A to B when we're driving long distances from the Midwest to Florida or Colorado or out to the West. If you go into Atlas Obscura and do just a little work before you leave, you are gonna uncover incredible things. And it really helps deepen the experience of where you go. And so you find yourself in these getaway weekends, uh, you find your hotel, uh, there's little, normally some pretty good sites you can use to find you know, meal things, anywhere from the extraordinary meal, the sitting down and having that special, special uh, date night type of meal, to uh, the best burgers or those kind of things. There are sites to do that at, Atlas Obscura does some of that as well. But the real thing you go to Atlas Obscura for is for the obscure. So I just happened to pull up Minneapolis. And so make sure you go to www.atlasobscura.com. Plug in the place of the place you want to go and look at a map. So like in Minneapolis, uh, I didn't know, and I'm from that area, I didn't know that uh, in the downtown area, many of the manhole covers are actually works of art. Right? They're actually, they actually went to artists and had them create the, man, the manhole covers. Now, when we're walking through most cities, how many times are we looking down and looking at those man, at those manhole covers? Uh, so it, they're pretty cool. This is also the home of, um, uh, you know, Mary Tyler Moore. So there's a statue to Mary Tyler Moore. Where would you find it? It's kind of a little off the beaten path. Great place to find. The herbivore butcher in Minneapolis. Um, sculpture clocks and different cafes and just within the downtown Minneapolis area, you're going to probably find 15 to 20 of these locations around the area. If you had a car, you can probably get up to 30, even 40. And now your weekends change, you know? So do, am I just going to go to the mall or the Mall of America or something big like that? Or am I going to use an Atlas Obscura, look through some different spots, find the GPS locations, and make an adventure out of it? and go find something unique and something special. And so there's always two websites I use, and this is one of them. So Atlas Obscura, I'm not receiving any compensation from them at all. You'll don't see anything on the site, at least not for now. Uh, but they are a site that I use uh, specifically when I'm going away to a spot, uh, and I'm looking for uh, that special thing that allows you to squeeze the feeling out of a place. So go take a look at Atlas Obscura. I think you're gonna like it.